my sugar plums welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna show you how to make a mirror pearl and diamond floor vase guys this vase is so beautiful it will blow your mind if you're new to my channel welcome don't forget to subscribe to my channel please and then hit the bell icon so you can be notified on all my new upload it took me about seven days to make this vase because it's a big vase and then the elements I was working with are in really a tiny little you know stuff so let's go ahead and jump into that tutorial so I can show you how to make that face right now okay now the first thing that I'm gonna do I'm gonna take like an empty box of crackers and then I'm gonna cut both the top and the bottom leads and then I'm gonna cut it open and then I'm, I'm, I'm gonna shape it to like to, um, to like a, a shape that I want and then once I finish doing that I'm gonna go ahead and tape it so I can have the top part of my vase now I use a big balloon to make that vase because I wanted that floor vase to be quite big now the second thing you're gonna see me do guys is take like an old ice cream bucket yes you heard me <laughs> an old ice cream bucket that I used to mix cement in it for another project but because I already had cement in it and it's already you know a little bit heavy so that, that was the perfect thing for the bottom part of my vase so I went and put like a little bit of uh, hot glue around it but wait for the hot glue to be completely cold before you put your balloon in it and then go ahead and attach both the top and the bottom part of the vase with some Pinterest tape and then we're gonna go ahead and get to papier mache the, the whole vase which is just you know mix like one part glue and one part water and then brush it all over your balloon and then put your uh, paper any type of paper newspaper wrapping paper any type of paper that you have just go ahead and cut it into little pieces put it on to your balloon and then repeat the whole thing until your whole balloon is completely covered let it dry and then repeat it I did that three times guys just to make sure that my vase is like nice and sturdy so I went over it and wait for it to dry overnight and then repeat the process and then dry overnight again and repeat the process that's why one of the reasons that the vase took me so long to do and it's a big vase as well okay guys I'm gonna let you watch this part and then we'll be back for the next step Okay guys, now this is 72 hours later, we're going to go ahead and use our cement to make sure that our vase become, you know, hard and sturdy and heavy. So I'm going to go ahead and mix the cement, not too liquidy and not too, you know, thick. We're going to go ahead and use a paintbrush and then paint the, the cement all over the vase and let it dry completely. And then I'm going to go ahead and repeat that process again three times. Now, between waiting, it took me about like another two days for the whole thing to completely dry. But by doing the third, you know, layer on the cement, guys, another tip that, that I want to give you is take like one spoon of cement and mix it with one cup of water. And then with that uh, water or uh, cement liquid, just go ahead and use your pen brush to brush it all over your cement after you do, after finishing putting your third layer, you know, 15 minutes after finishing putting your third layer, because this will serve as a cement and you'll prevent your vase you know to crack you know the cement will tend to crack if it's dry you know too fast or any type of you know cracking that you'll have this will help you as well for it so go ahead and do that and then let the thing dry completely overnight Okay guys, now my vase is completely dry so I'm going over it with a 100 grit sandpaper and then uh, again with a 120 grit sandpaper to make sure that I have a, a smooth surface, you know, as smooth, as smooth as you can. I can't talk today. Um, once uh, my vase is completely smooth out, I went over it and then drew like a pattern the way I wanted to put my mirror. So I'm using like one inch mirrors. Guys, it took me about 400 mirrors to put on that vase to complete my vision. <laughs> yeah so that's what one of the reason the vase took me so long to do because you know the vase is big and you know the the thing I'm working on I'm working with are so small 
so anyway so i went and um, put my mirror on i'm gonna go ahead and do that guys and let you watch and then we'll be back to show you the next step Okay guys, now we're gonna go ahead and make the front of the vase and I'm gonna use pearl to make that front part. And I'm using like two different type of pearl. I'm using a white pearl that's a little bit bigger than the ivory color pearl that I'm gonna be using for the middle part of the vase. I also drew a, a pattern in the center of the pearl, but unfortunately I'm gonna remove that later on because I didn't like the way it looked. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to do the top part of the vase. I use three different color of a lacy ribbon that I found at my local shop. I use a yellow one, a leafy green one, and a white one. I overlap them with each other so it can be more interesting guys. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use a diamond wrap to uh, put uh, wherever you know I overlap them so that part is not gonna be showing. I also use a black diamond wrap and make like a U shape, um, you know, pattern on top of the yellow um, ribbon that I use. Finishing that, guys, I'm gonna take a soft pink lacy fabric that I had. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on top of the yellow um, lacy ribbon and then let it drip down and to cover the whole uh, part of the vase. And to finish it up, I'm gonna take like a diamond wrap and then. Um, glue it at the bottom of the lacy pink uh, 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 fabric so we can give the top part a very elegant and soft feminine type of look. Moving on to our next step guys, I wanted my vase to have a, a white background but I wanted it to be nice and shiny, not just plain and boring. So I went and brushed some regular school glue in between the mirrors and then I sprinkled all over my iridescent white glitter all over it to give it a very nice and shiny look and then I let it dry overnight and then the next morning this is what the vase looked like and it's really beautiful. Now moving on, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the front part of my vase because I ran out of pearl I use so so many of them guys so I, I had to go and buy some more so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, uh, put my pearl all the way down to the bottom in at the very bottom part I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, white pearl to match the top part and putting the pearl guys was really easy all I did is it was make uh, uh, I made a bed of hot glue be very careful if you're gonna do this sport guys because it's really hot and I burn myself quite a lot. Okay, so you're gonna make like a bed with your hot glue and then drop the pearl in it and then push the pearl down so to make sure that the pearl are completely, you know, immersed into it and that way the pearl will stick and not move. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for the whole part and then this is what it looks like. Uh, like I mentioned before, I use uh, white pearl for the bottom part just to match the top part of it. Now for the right side of the vase, I wanted to do something different. So I went and placed uh, the little one inch mirror, you know, at different um, uh, places, like between like 
four to five and ten inches um you know different from each other and then in between them i went and put a uh, hot glue and i connect the two mirrors together using a uh, diamond uh, or diamond acrylic uh, gemstones that i had so those were quite uh, small gemstones so it was easy for me to do the you know the whole line of it so basically all you do is like take your glue gun you know put a string of glue and then drop your diamonds in it and then shape them in into a nice you know line to connect the two together I also went guys and put some white pearl in between that mirror, the mirrors on this side and as well as also some really big pearl in between the mirrors as well. As I mentioned before, I went and redid the pattern that I drew in the front of the um, vase before that because I didn't like the way it looked. So I went and took like a, a styrofoam plate and drew the circle, you know, onto the pearls. And then I used a bed of glue and then sprinkle a lot of white iridescent glitter on top and then pat it in, you know, in the glitter in the glue, making sure the whole thing stick together. Then to make sure that I don't have any, you know, glitter falling off. So I went and take a clear uh, epoxy and then I, I went over that circle part and then make sure I seal everything and then with the same clear epoxy I took like a, a small brush and then brush all over the pearls all over the, the the background part of the vase making sure that I have a nice shiny you know um, a background that way your pearls are not gonna fall off because the epoxy is gonna serve as a glue as well making sure your pearl doesn't come off as well Now to finish the whole vase up uh, guys, I went and take a diamond wrap, a single row of diamond wrap and then um, glue it all around that round shape pattern that I made in front of the vase to give it a finished look. And that was it guys, our vase was completely done. I'm gonna go ahead and show you, you know, the, the finished result and I was so, so very happy with it because it looks so beautiful guys. And I like the, the vase because, you know, whatever, um, part that you look at it it's completely different because if you look at the front side all you see is a cascade you know river of pearl and the white you know uh, glitter it, it, epoxy you know circle and then on the left side when you look at it you see the curves mirror and the on the right side when you look at it you see that you know that diamond line with the mirrors in you know it's completely different and i love it now this is the part that my daughter is <laughs> what's waiting for because they keep asking mommy when you're gonna pop the balloon mommy when you're gonna pop the balloon so they love it when i pop the balloon so guys this is the finished look again you can leave your vase just as is or you can put you know some kind of flower decoration into it me i use some bamboo stick you know two leaves two palm leaves and one single rose and this is the finished look guys i really really love the vase because it's different it's interesting it's elegant and beautiful because I'm gonna go ahead and let you finish watching the whole thing and I hope you enjoy this video if you like it just go ahead and give me a thumbs up and guys if you haven't done so don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit the bell icon so you can be notified on all my new uploads guys thank you so so very much for stopping by as always guys be blessed and stay blessed I love you Mwah. bye